what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so today or should I say maybe tonight I was originally going with a new GTX 1050 2 gig card well I decided to get rid of that and go for a more gaming performance graphics card this is the GTX 1050 Ti 4 gig OC model which stands for overclock and that is exactly what we're going to do today so I'm gonna hook it up I'm gonna run uh, what's it called super position benchmark it's supposed to be a really GPU crammed test so we're gonna run it I'm gonna see how well I know what my old scores were for my 1052 gig so I'm willing to see what this is and what we're gonna do is, is I'm gonna start it off in like small increments of overclock so I'll start with like 60 percent and then go to 70 percent 80 percent all the way up to a hundred percent once I get to a hundred percent overclock what I'm gonna do then is then jump so we'll go to like 220 uh, I'm sorry we'll go to like 120 and then we'll go to 150 and take it all the way up to 200 percent and I'm going to overclock both the GPU frequency and the memory and I'm gonna do it in equal intervals so if I overclock the GPU um, let's say at 70 percent I'm going to overclock the memory at 70 percent too so that's what I'm gonna do let me find my little remote and we'll get started and I'll zoom in so you guys can see what's going down this is a 260 $250 card is what I paid for it um, so anyway with that you have gigabyte so we're gonna go ahead and pull up now with this page it allows me to you know adjust all the settings uh, you have an advanced overclock to where if you just want to do it in a OC mode, a gaming mode, or an eco mode, you're allowed, you can. Um, you can adjust the fan curve or the fan speed. Uh, but I've already did all that. I've already set it high to where we can get as much as fan. I've cracked the lid on the side of the computer case to allow more fans. So we're going to start with a moderate overclock of what I say, 60. So let's go ahead and type in 60 and we'll get rid of that we'll type in 60 and then we will hit apply all right so it's applying and loading all right there we go and then what we're going to do is we're going to benchmark 1020 pi yep enable performance and we'll run the the test the test takes uh, a few minutes to do it. It is by Unigy 2. It's uh, an engine of visual works, but we're going to see how fast it does. Now, I'm going to uh, try to do like a graph with it. So that way you guys will be able to see what it is. Right now, we're doing at a 60% overclock. So we're going to see how well it runs. Just give it a minute and it'll, uh, it'll load up. Here we go, and the test begins. Let's see here. Right now we're at 43 frames a second. We're graphics is an 1835 megahertz. Memory is 3,533 megahertz, and we're about 49 degrees Celsius, and we're pinned at 99% according to the test. Let's see here. I'm going to let it keep running.
filming me. See? Filming y'all. Why I'm filming this. I just figured I would use this to try to get a close-up on it, but the camera just doesn't seem to be picking up very well. I'm filming y'all while y'all are filming me. See? Filming y'all. Why I'm filming this. I just figured I would use this to try to get a close-up on it, but the camera just doesn't seem to be picking up very well. And at the end of it, it's going to give us a score. And I will record the score. It'll give us a final number, and I'll record that number. So, and then I'll include some graphs for you guys. All right, so that's the benchmark right there. That's the end of it. Um, we got a current score of... 5,480 that's pretty good for a moderate overclock of only 60% so what was our score 5,480 all right so let's go ahead and change that to 70% um, 70% 70% whoops 70. Okay, so then we're going to hit apply. What we're doing, guys, is we're overclocking the graphics card, which is we're using Gigabyte's Extreme Engine, which is software that allows us to do that. Alright, so we have it mildly overclocked. We have it overclocked 10% more than what we were running before. So we're going to go ahead and run the benchmark again, and we're going to see what kind of performance it does. Let's see if 10% improvement gets us a higher score. Uh, 5400 we're just going to let it load So at 70% overclock, we're looking at a significantly higher temperature of 56 Celsius, and our frames are staying at a higher average of about 37 before it was dropping down to like 34. So our frame rates are a little higher, and we got a little bit more megahertz on both the graphics and the memory. Alright guys, so we completed that test at 70% overclock and we came out with a score of 5490. Now with my other graph, when I was running the GTX 1052 gig, um, I was not able to overclock that. And let's see here, at 70% of my old score, I was at 3916. So you can clearly see that I'm getting a way better and way higher significant score of 5490 than what I was originally achieving with the 2 gig model. See if I can zoom in on that. Can y'all see that? Here I'll zoom in the best I can. I don't know if y'all... It looks like it's snow blind, you know? Like you can't, you can't see it for some odd reason. I don't know why that is either. But it says 5490, that's what the current score is and stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and back this out. And we're going to take it to 80% and so on and so forth as we run through the charts. Um, but I've already done this, so I already know where it sits at. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that 70%. And we're going to jump straight to 120% overclock on the GPU clock. And we're going to do 120% on the memory clock as well. So let's go ahead and adjust that. Plus 120%. And we're going to apply. Okay, so it has taken effect. So we're going to back out. And we're going to rerun the benchmark again. Now this Unigen Engine 2 software that I'm using, it is super crunching on your hardware so I'm definitely expecting to see quite a temperature 
peak. We were running at about 55, 56 degrees Celsius. Alright, so right off the bat, I can immediately see a higher boost in memory and graphics on the megahertz. We're at 3584 megahertz memory and 1898 megahertz for the graphics. So we're just going to let the benchmark run. We're already at a way, way higher. Before we were hitting, what, 37? So now I'm hitting up in the 40s. So let's see here. At 120% on the GTX 1050 2 gig card, I had a score of 4057. So let's see if the 4 gig overclock model can get us a higher yielding score out of the benchmark. For an extra $90, I hope I do. That's what I want, more frames per second. see if I can um, bust out the other camera here all right I'm gonna see if I can't try to record the frames So this is a hundred twenty percent overclock on the memory and the GPU clock with the GTX 1050 4 gig TI OC model. Man, that image looks great. It looks phenomenal. Let's see here. Current score. We're at. We're getting an average of about 37, 38 frames, 40 frames per second. We're utilizing 99% and our temperatures are quite high. Quite high indeed, guys. Higher than 20% overclock. Okay, guys, so the test score has finished at 120%, right? 120% overclock. My last score on the old card was a 4,057. Our new score on this clock is 5,614. Wow. So 1,600 points higher. That is, that's incredible. Awesome. That is awesome to see scores like that. I cannot believe that. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and crank it up one more time. So we're going to dial it up to, let's see here, let's take it to 100 170%. I know it can handle that. Anything over 174, it just crashes. It doesn't even, doesn't even like it. So let's go with 100, 170%, guys, 170% overclock on the memory and the GPU. And we're going to apply it back it out and run the test one more time so here we go so after this I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys what it is and where we go from there we are right in the middle of our 170 percent benchmark our megahertz on our graphics is 1936 and the memory is at 3588 megahertz our temperature is way high at 57 degrees Celsius and we are peaked at 99 percent and our frame rates are 41 42 frames per second so exciting 
you guys can do this too you can download this for free and benchmark your own stuff and that way you can fine tune it to find out you know if you can really push the frames and the performance that you're expecting out of your equipment out of your hardware I should say so we're just gonna let it finish we're at scene 14 out of 17 so it's almost done scene 15 two more scenes left So that's the end of the test, end of the benchmark, and our final score is, whoa, 57.17 at 170% overclocked, wow. So let's just recap on this. I'm going to go ahead and run a couple charts through, and the first chart that you see is from the, the 10.50 and then the second chart you'll see is from the 1050 4 gig and the points on it are anywhere from 1200 to 1700 more that is quite an improvement man I am just stoked about how improved that is that is awesome guys Wow. So, there you go. 170% overclocked on a GTX 1050Ti 4 gig. Well, that's my video, guys. I hope you boys and girls and fans and people enjoyed my video. If you did like it, give me a thumbs up. Also, I got a motorized bike that I bought. You know, like them 26-inch speed or um, beach cruisers? I bought one and then I bought an 80cc um, two stroke motor to go in it. When I get it, I'm going to do a film of me putting it together and we're going to add some things to it like a revalve and a boost bottle and new exhaust and all kinds of little modifications, some aluminum parts. We're gonna change the gearing, upgrade the clutch. Um, I want to try to hit at least 45, 50 miles an hour on it. At least. I want it to be able to at least keep up with some things. But that's for a later date. So yeah. Thanks for watching guys and as always, y'all be cool and this is Tech PCs. Later. <laughs>